Okay, here we go with the Femi X8 SE 2022, the gray edition. I haven't had this flown for a while now. It's up, we've got a TX10 controller, all ready to go, 1080p, got all the satellites we need, we're ready to go. Let's get up in the air, okay? See what happens. Got it on full brightness, it's beautiful, I can see everything. Let's get it up. Okay. Look at that, eh? It goes up to four meters, which is a little high for me, but... There we go. Take it down a bit. Very nice to control. It is a little loud, but it's pretty good. So, let's get that uh, video going there. Let's get it forward and up. Let's get it up there. And this screen is absolutely phenomenal. I got the newest firmware on here. See that yellow H on the bottom left corner there of the screen? Okay, there we go. We're up to, well, let's bring that down a bit. We're up to 20 meters. We've got to go up to about 35 or 40. I had to lower that so I can see it in the screen there because the font is white against the white background. You're not going to see it. So 35. 45, 49 or 50, there we go. Okay, bring that up again. And well, what I like about this is, with this dial, I can go up or down. There we go, down, one more. There we go, a little darker. There we go, we can, we can do that just by rolling the dial. I love that, love it. You can do that with the DJI Mini 3. I put my C2 control button on the dial. If I press it in on the dial, I can do my EV values. So it's not too bad. So we've got that going. Let's turn it around. We're up there 50 meters or so. And we're gonna come look at that horizon, pretty good. This is the Femi X8 SE 2022. Okay, so we're gonna head out that way head out to that little island again and we're going to point it down like this controller is phenomenal it really is nice really bright screen really good okay not a problem at all it's beautifully clear wonderful okay that's the one thing I have about the DJI Mini 3 the screen is a little small but it's uh, it's not bad not bad. This screen is a lot better. I love it. So we're there. We're getting there. We're going to get over that island like we did before and we're going to point it straight down and have a look. See if there's any differences. 1080p 30 there shouldn't be. But again I've, I've lowered the EV value a bit so let's get that down. Okay it comes down pretty fast. Here we go. And we're right over it. There we go. Okay, we're going to look at the island there. Go a little bit to the right there. There we go. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Bring that camera up again. Up a little bit more. Let's get that little bit of the sky in there. There we go. And we're going to go over this way. We can see there, okay, we can head out towards this island and we're, how far are we out? 300 and something, almost 380, 400 meters. Okay, and the Hubson Mini, the one of the black arms, conked out about 450 because of the weather. And uh, the uh, DJI Mini 3 conked out about 660, I think it was, something like that. So now we're upwards of the 600s. Let's head to that little channel there. Okay, 680, 7, way better range, 
way better range. The Rocklink 3, I think it is, way better range. Okay, and we can go out there. We still have good battery. Okay, there we go. And we're going to bring it back. Okay, we're out there, almost a kilometer. So let's see what happens on a return to home. There we go. Haven't used this for a while. Had to figure it out. See that yellow H there? That's telling me that my return to home is somewhere around there, and I think I've set it for 50 meters high. Yeah. So the yellow circle gives you a rough idea of where your home point is. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty close, because this controller, the big downfall of it is it doesn't have a magnometer, or magnetometer, or whatever you want to call it. So it's not 100%. It just relies on GPS, I think. But anyway, there we go. It's coming home. Look at that screen. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. Love the screen. Love the controller. It's not that heavy. I could put a lanyard on here, but it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Okay. It's coming back. It's beautiful. Yep. I'm still on the green for the battery. And I charge this battery up maybe two or three weeks ago. Maybe more than that. It's just sat in the bag. So it's pretty good. And we're going to do a hand catch with the elevator pad. I know, don't do it, it's dangerous. But I value my fingers, I don't want to get them chopped off. So we're gonna try that this time like we did with the other ones. Okay, there it is, the H is right on the house. So that's pretty good, pretty good. That's what I figure. Yeah, it's coming back, there it is. I should hear it now. And I should be able to see it pretty soon. There it is, coming back, look at that, eh? Beautiful. And the low battery, yep, yeah, okay. And it should be coming down. Well, how close is it? Let's see. It's right here. So from the three I've tried today, it's pretty accurate. Well, maybe not. There we go. Bring it over. It was accurate, but it wandered over to the right a bit. Anyway, it is home. So this one is going to be a little tricky because it's a big bird. Okay, so let's just give this a shot here. Okay, stop that video. Let's get this in here. Okay, let's turn it around. Move forward. Nope. There we go. Okay, now if I put this underneath, it goes up. Stick down. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I like that. It's not exactly in the middle. The box is really isn't big enough for it, but pretty good. It's solid as a rock. It's a heavy drone, heavy drone. I really wouldn't do that with this. I would hand catch this because it's very easy to hand catch. It's got a large mass. You can grab it easily. Okay. Usually I would have the landing gear on here. I just let it land. But anyway, for the mini drones, love this box. It's great. Okay. That's it. So, what do we think? The Femi X8SE and the TX10 controller. Haven't used them for a while. Took them out of the box, fired them up. Gorgeous, just gorgeous, beautiful. Love the controller, okay? I like this way better than the DJI RC, okay? And the Femi X8SE, it's the best thing of 2022. It really is. It's absolutely phenomenal, okay, for the money. I think you can get the standard version like this for just over $400. Can't beat it, okay? And this you can get for less than $300, okay? So, 
take care. It's getting cold. Let's go inside. Let's put some videos together. Let's see what happens. Okay. Take care.